We all know that the most profitable hardware for crypto mining is oh GPUs. The 3090 RTX 3090 gives you nearly ten dollars profit per day. Ten dollars, three hundred dollars over three thousand dollars per year. Right, the RTX 3080, the gamer's favorite, gives you nearly as much at eight dollars per day. That's what two forty per month. $240, $240 from your graphics card. Now, what if you're hell bent on using your CPU to mine from? Well, we can find out the profit rates, the net profit rates here. Top of the tree is the Threadripper 3990X, which probably no one out there is going to have. You know, what's it cost? Four thousand, three thousand, six hundred dollars. I don't know, something like that. No one's going to have that. So let's leave the the top end, high end thread rippers and epic processors behind, and let's see what actual processors that people are actually going to have, how much they're likely to earn. And we come to the fifty nine fifty X, which will earn you one dollar and twenty cents. What's that? About thirty six. $36 per month. It's not much, is it? Over a year, it'll be over $400, about $435. Yeah, whilst the 3950X will earn you $36 per month. Again, about, was it, $400 a year? 5900X, less than a dollar. So, yeah, it's not really. Uh, if you if you're gonna use the computer as well, it's not really practical to use your uh, CPUs for mining unless you got some big monster core. Uh, maybe if you configure it to use, so if you've got 5950X, you say four cores, three or four cores towards mining. It might give you maybe 20 cents. Something like that. But obviously, these will be config to use about 50% of the processing power, and you're idly you're going to be aiming for 20% usage. So it'd be maybe 30 cents. So what's 30 cents going to deliver? If you got a 5950x and you're earning 30 cents per day, nine dollars per month, 120. It's not really worth it, is it? If you've paid all that for a 5950x. You're not going to be interested in earning $10 per month. So it's not really uh, much point in using CPUs for, uh, no, if you got a 10900K, you're going to earn 26 cents. That's going to be using around 50% of the processing power cores. It's not really worthwhile using CPUs. Even some are going to result in a loss or use more electricity than they would earn so no point not and if you've got a something like a thread ripper 3990x it might sound like you're gonna make a lot of money you know, 3.54 times 30 hundred dollars per month <coughs> twelve hundred dollars a year that sounds good but I think you'll be making more from productivity work rendering and stuff like that then crypto mining twelve hundred dollars gonna be nothing compared to the what you'd be using it for you might be earning to I'm guessing sixty thousand dollars from that system per year in terms of work output you're really gonna give up half the performance to earn twelve hundred dollars I don't think so so whilst it might seem like a good idea to use your processor for crypto mine basically there's no point there's no point you're just gonna impair your computer's productivity it's much better to use your computer's GPU when for instance when you're not gaming when you're using it and when it's idle just let it use the GPU and you'll learn many times that look for RTX 3080, eight dollars per day, 
$240 per month just and you can use your system perfectly fine it won't affect your usage only you would have to exit with the miner during gaming you know obviously because gaming that's what you bought it for for gaming same with basically all of these other cards up that even down to the 3060 ti you could let them mine constantly as long as you're not gaming and it would not impair your usage all the way you know, even to the 3060 though that's crippled there but it still earn you hundred dollars per month pay for itself in a few months 30 even the 6060 1070 470 even all these you could get away with maybe um, thinking where would the like the impact start maybe with the 1660 I think that's four gigabyte and the 980 so these really old cars like about five year, years or older they might earn, say 178, what's 178? 1.78 times 30, now $50 per month, $600, that sounds good. But they're gonna be ramping up usage of the GPU to such an extent, I 50% that you're gonna feel the impact in usage. The fans will be spinning loud and there'll be a delay in uh, say watching videos and stuff obviously for gaming there's no chance uh, even then you know i say around a four gigabyte six gigabyte around this area obviously the 16 gigabyte is plenty but when you get down to the 5500 xts and you, you get to the point where it's going to severely impact your uses of the computer look the tens the 1660 super that's probably where you would have to think about drawing the line even though it's 70 dollars per month 70 dollars but you're gonna experience a worse impact on your quality of computing your use of the computer but look it's 900 dollars per month that's probably borderline once you start going over three three dollars per and the 2060 supers and the 3060s yeah hmm yeah, where cpus are concerned there's no point none of them are really worthwhile using because you're just gonna it's gonna impact on your experience computing experience with very little return no one with a th you know with an epic processor is going to do crypto mining with their processor you might have it in there it's part of a system with say, a dozen gpus 39 well it won't be have a dozen maybe yeah you could have a dozen because of the memory bandwidth yeah maybe 10 10 3090s with an epic processor that would uh, yield you know, a lot that would be hundred dollars per day imagine if you had 10 30 90s hundred dollars per day times 30 three thousand dollars a month thirty six thousand dollars per year that would be a mining rig an epic processor with 10 30 90s and you earn your thirty six thousand dollars in a year pay for all of the hardware yeah, that would pay for the system in a year. Yeah. So only in, in a combo, in a mining rig, but on their own, CPUs are not really meant for mining, as far as I can tell. You know, there might be some algorithms out there, some that can do a better job of using CPUs and Dogger. I don't know what they use, Dogger Ash or something, for, with nice ash. Anyway. Now you know, CPUs are not really suitable for crypto mining, no matter how powerful they are.